Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are at Motorcycle Park in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa, and look what we have today. I've been waiting for this one. I found this on their website a couple uh, weeks ago. This is the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 in Supernova Red, my favorite color, red. So, just... so let's go take that hot rod for a spin, and then we'll come back here to Motorcycle Park and uh, see what we can learn about this hot rod. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, I like the sound. Can y'all hear that? Very good, very good. Okay, let's do it. These things have got really good power, good low end torque. And this thing sounds awesome. This is a stock pike, by the way. Just a beautiful little machine, isn't it? Turns like a dream, look at that. If you all are in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph or vintage bike of any type, get yourselves down here to Baxter Cycle in Marnie, Iowa, the mighty mini-tropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Ask for Jeremy or Mark, tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Wahoo! Let's do a little spin test here. Boy, this thing does sound good. No one behind us. Mirrors are good. Look at this. Look at this, huh? What a dream. I can't remember the... Uh, wheelbase offhand, but we'll get to that when we get back to Cycle Park. Look at that, huh? Just a dream. I love the seating position. Your uh, feet are forward of your knees, actually. Your heels are probably even with your knees, your, the back of your foot. Your legs, the upper leg is probably almost parallel with the ground, maybe a little slower in the, uh, hey, look at this. Possibly a little lower on the knee end. Plenty of torque there. You sit virtually straight up and down. And here's the part that I really like, the handlebars. On my classic, you kind of got to reach for the uh, handlebars. On, on the Hunter, you definitely have to reach for them. On this, they're kind of right where you, right where your arm should be. Look at that nice loose fit. Beautiful. And that's what I, one of the things I think, one of the things that this motorcycle that would make it uh, better for long rides. That, the wider seat, it's got a nice wide seat and it's also got the uh, forward controls, which I, I do like forward controls. Look at that, excellent control. That clutch on the, the clutch on these things are just marvelous. All the torque on these engines, way down at the bottom, I think it's 27 newton meters, 20 foot pounds of torque and 20 horsepower. And the clutch on, the, the clutch is just fabulous on these things. And then to top it off, they've got these fabulous levers too. We'll talk about that when we get to the park. It's got a really good sound. What a beauty, what a beauty. Okay, let's do the famous spin test on a hill. These bikes turn excellent, by the way. They just, they just are excellent. They just do, do this, they just do this fabulously well. If you're ever in Marnie, Iowa, get yourself over here to the derailed grill right there. Good eats, good eats. The seat is nice and wide, left to right, and it even has a little room forward and backwards to go. I would say the advantage of this particular bike over the Hunter or the Classic are definitely the comfort. Okay, let's head back to Cycle Park and take a good look at this hot rod. Now well, let's spin around in a circle one more time, right? Because, you know, we can't go through the life without doing that. <laughs> they just handle so well. The forte of uh, these 350s is anything from 0 to 65, 70 miles an hour. They just handle so well. They're so, they're so polite and well-behaved and good-mannered. And First off, Let's just step back and look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the chrome, the tank badging, the colors. This is the Supernova Red. And uh, the thing I would say about this is the details. Just look at all the details. Let's start with the, uh, look at the mags. It's got the mags, but they're milled. They've got the uh, shiny here, you know. Uh, take a look up here, we've got a windscreen, chrome mirrors, the end caps, the light colored levers, you know, jumping down to the tank, the three colors. Look at this badge. This is a metal badge. Just absolutely wow, you know. 
jumping down here, the milled ends on the head right there. Isn't that neat? Good contrast. Chrome pipe. Look at that beautiful chrome pipe. And then up here to the seat, this is kind of a dark chocolate brown seat with silver piping. Look at that, just absolutely gorgeous. Nice, wide, comfortable seat. That was one of the things I liked about this bike. One of the reasons I think this is probably the most comfortable of the bikes. And looking, you know, sticking with the seat, this is a metal piece on the back and that's milled into there. That nice Royal Enfield, isn't that just gorgeous? And of course the bar, the grab bars, cast metal grab bars. Jumping back up here to the tank. Beautiful, beautiful metal uh, gas cap. Look at this taillight. I'm going through the, the uh, cosmetics because I think it's just a striking example of a motorcycle. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that headlight. It's got the beauty ring around here. Can you all see that? And then the headlight itself. It's going through. You know, that's supposed to look like an air cleaner, I suppose. Beautiful side covers that are keyed. The uh, swing arm pivot point has a, cr a chrome cover on it. Just, just all the details are there. You know, then looking at the foot pegs, look, look at that. Royal infilled foot pegs, large, large brake pedal, you know. Even the uh, passenger pegs. Anyway, very well done. Chrome ring on the taillight. I just love all the detail on this, you know. Jumping up here, chrome mirrors. Just, everything's rich. Just, uh, even the end caps. Check this out. Little covers over the uh, tops of the forks. That's a really neat, de neat detail. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's go through the specs right quick. It is a... 300, I think 348, 349 cc single overhead cam, single cylinder, two valve engine, air cooled, oil cooled, um, makes about 20 horsepower, 20 foot pounds of torque, that's about 27 newton meters. That is paired to a five speed gearbox. And on this particular bike, it comes with a heel shifter. I would like to have a heel shifter on my classic and I'm debating on whether to get it. But you know what I'm gonna tell you all right now? Royal Enfield makes a great transmission, and this is a really good example of one. I just love the transmissions on these. I've got a classic 350, it's the same engine and transmission, and I just love the way that thing shifts. Just a thing of beauty, you know? Jumping up here to the front, I think it's a 300 millimeter single disc, dual pot, that means two pistons, Bybree, with anti-lock brakes, ABS brakes. Uh, 41 millimeter forks with I think 4.1, 5.1 inches of travel, that's 130 millimeters. And then the tire looks to be a 190-19 on this model. Yep, right there, 190-19. Seat, Seat. And the rear is a 140-70. That's a nice wide tire. 140-70-17 on the rear. Gorgeous. And again, look at those mags. I just love the mags. The brake on the rear, I think, is a 270. 270 fixed disc ABS with a single pot. Wheelbase on this hot rod, we were talking about that earlier. 55.1 inches, that's, that's the longest of the three 350s. That's about 1,400 millimeters. Ground clearance is 6.7 inches, that's 170 millimeters. Seat height, 30.1 inches, that's the lowest of the seats, lowest seat height. That's about 765 millimeters. And you can tell, when you sit on this, this is definitely a low bike. You know, they're so narrow too. Um, if, if you're concerned about that at all, Try, try one of these out. Also, you can get a shorty shock kit for the back, which will lower it an inch. A good friend of mine here has one. She did that on her bike. And then you can also get a little more out of the, out of the front here. So you can drop it down maybe an inch and a half if you're uh, inclined to do so. Weight on this particular bike, 421 pounds. That's 191 kilograms. And the fuel tank is four gallons. That's 15.1 uh, liters. That's quite a, quite a tank. I have been getting in the 60s on my... Royal Enfield Classic. Uh, I've got friends that get in the 80s, and I think it's the driving distance, and also plus I'm, I'm a pr pretty hefty lad. So, uh, you know, with four gallons, that's 240 miles at uh, 60 miles a gallon. So quite a range, probably way more than that. The rear suspension, I think is about, I think on this it's three and a half inches. Uh, I think that's 89 millimeters. Absolutely beautiful. This one just came in today. Like I said, it's the red. I've been waiting for the red. I uh, I've always thought they should have made a red one. They made a blue and a brown. This is really my color here. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very, just very well done. Everything is just, fit and finish wise, just great. And this windscreen is really a nifty add-on. I like that. And it looks like you can go up and down just a little bit if you want to. Okay, let's take a quick look at the dash and instruments. 
running gear. Uh, starting up here, let's just go ahead and look at this. The barrel grips. I love these on my Classic. They're very comfortable. They're hard but soft. I call them these are actually a little softer. They feel like it. They've got these beautiful uh, clutch levers that are molded, curved in the edges. One of the best uh, feeling clutch levers I think that's out there right now. I really enjoy mine. Uh, this bike also has adjustment for the clutch here and down here. Two points where my Royal Enfield Himalaya only has it down at the bottom. Here we have high, low, and flash to pass. Information buttons over here, and we'll look at that in a minute. Blinkers, horn, over here it's the kill switch, run and start, and then hazard lights. Throttle over here. Over here we've got that same beautiful lever for the brake. Uh, jumping down here, let's take a look at this. So neutral light, battery light, fuel light, engine light. Then in the center, if you look there, there's a, uh, well, okay, on the outside there's an analog speedometer. And then on the inside, right here, there's a fuel gauge digital, a clock, a gear indicator, and then the trip meters. There's trip A, trip B, and trip C, and you run those with this little button right here. So take a look at the, uh, right now it's on trip B. There's the odometer, we've got six miles on this bike. Trip A, that's 2.6 miles, and trip B, 1.1 miles. I like it, everything you need, wall in one spot, and I really like that gear indicator. Good, good deal, good deal. Doesn't this all just kind of look finished off? I mean, very well done. Even the keychain's the right color, right? Beautiful machine. You know, chrome stays to hold the windshield up. I like it. I like it a lot. Baxter Cycle sells not only the motorcycles, but they sell all kinds of uh, accessories for this bike. They sell gear, bags, backpacks, everything you could possibly imagine. Everything you find on the Royal Ensfield uh, website, they sell here at Baxter Cycle. Just go to BaxterCycle.com. They've got it in stock, ready to go. And uh, if you're in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield Triumph or British bike of any type, give those guys a call. Check out their website, give those guys a call, ask for uh, Jeremy or Mark, tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, if it's nice out where you're at, get out and ride, my friends. Wahoo!